hello everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a New Year's Eve makeup collab with the beautiful Posh Rosa here on YouTube she is a fellow Beijing beauty guru please give her channel a look up she is so talented she's gonna show you something very smoky and sultry and I'm just gonna give you something a little bit more simple so let's begin with the eyes and I am going to be using the Laura Pro behind the scenes concealer not concealer um, primer sorry I'm gonna put this all over my lids and underneath of my eyes as well to prevent creasing um, I skipped over my brows and I'm just showing you when I set them with a little bit of brow gel I'm gonna go on using the LA girl pro concealer and I'm using toast I like the color of this because it mutes out the discoloration so well and it puts down a nice even base I'm just gonna let you get just a little bit closer to my face because we're gonna work on the eyes and I want you to see most of the uh, details and I'm gonna go into this makeup geek shadow called latte I'm gonna put down a fluffy brush and I'm gonna work that into my crease now this step is really just to add some definition to the lids I really don't want anything too smoky or anything I just want a defined crease space and I'm likely going to do that so that my transition is definitely on point. Next, I'm going to do my highlight. I'm going to use a mixture of Beaches and Cream and Vanilla Bean. I just wanted something a little bit brighter so the Vanilla Bean is lighter than Beaches and Cream. And I use that in a patting motion. And once I pat in most of the color, then I blend it down into my transition color. And for my lids, I'm going to use this beautiful pigment called New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is a gold pigment, or should I say a gold glitter, very finely milled. And the base of it is kind of like a matte kind of cream. It's a very interesting combination of things to put together. But if you layer this over a color base or something like that, it would be absolutely amazing. It looks so beautiful, the camera just isn't doing it any justice. I'm just using a piece of tissue to catch any fallout so that I don't have to worry too much about cleanup in the future. And I'm also putting some on the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it up. Then I'm going to go back into that latte color with a more dense brush and I'm going to focus it mostly on the outer corner of my eyes just to build up the intensity. So it really is almost kind of like a cut crease but very soft and blurred. It's a beautiful effect. This brush is absolutely amazing as well. Then I'm going to do a very highly arched uh, cat wing liner. I'm using the bottom lash line as my guide and I'm going to do a very thin line. And this one took forever so I had to edit out the majority of it but I love this style of makeup. It's beautiful. Then I added a good few coats of mascara. Lashes are optional. I didn't really choose to use any. These two colors I used was Mocha and Corrupt from Makeup Geek. And I am just defining the crease. I moved on to the face and I decided to use my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. Um, this definitely camouflages my pores and it makes a good base for this mixture I'm going to do, which is chestnut and just a little bit of fawn, the LA Girl Concealers. And then I take a Real Techniques brush and I pat it in and it is the most beautiful finish. It is smooth, it's highlighted, it's just amazing. I love how it makes my skin look and my under eyes look so highlighted. Whatever's left on the brush, I take it and I just dab it onto my chin and onto my forehead for a nice little highlight. For this particular section, I'm just going to do some spot concealing. Um, I'm using chestnut, I believe, and I just use another Real Techniques brush to buff it out. Very natural skin without the wearing of foundation and powder. And I'm also going to cover up my mustache kind of section because it is it does have a bit of darkness to it. So <laughs> I'm just going to blend that out and make sure that that's covered. Next, I want to do a little bit of contouring, and I'm using the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. I'm going into the hollow of my cheeks and giving myself a nice contour, nothing too harsh or anything like that, but definitely to, to chisel out, map up my cheekbones, and make myself look very thin in the face. And I'm going to set every single thing with my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish that's in Dark. 
I'm gonna add some blush. This one is Terra Soul by Milani. This is a very neutral blush, but it gives the face so much warmth. And then I'm going to use the NYX Illuminator in Chaotic. And I'm just gonna dust that lightly along the cheekbones. I'm not really a big fan of highlight, but I absolutely loved how this turned out. It was so gorgeous. I'm going to go back into Mocha and Corrupt and smoke out my bottom lash line. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to hear me saying that all the time. <laughs> and just adding a little bit of mascara to the bottom lashes as well. And we are on to lips already. First combination is going to be a nude lip. I'm going to fill in my lips with a brown lip liner. I'm using Milani's Naturally Chic and I'm going to highlight the center with a little bit of Max Blankety. Neutral, sweet, adorable. Next is one of my favorites. It is a red lip. This is a satin lip color by Nika K and this one is in very red. Very, very beautiful. Classic pinup kind of red. And last but certainly not least, and my favorite, I'm going to fill in my lip with Sangria from Milani. I'm going to work that into my lips. And then I'm going to take Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC to def do some definition around the outside of my lips. I'm going to blend it in. I absolutely love this. And if I had to wear this particular combination, this lip is what I would choose. So I am so grateful for you guys just sticking around for the whole year even though I haven't been around. I hope you enjoy it. Please make sure to check out Posh Rose's channel and I will see y'all guys next time. Bye.